In today's video, we're going to see if we can make a whipped foam out of just about every kind of drink we could find. This right here is a product called VersaWhip 600K. As you can see, it is a modified soy protein, and basically what it does is it makes any liquid into one that you can whip up into a foam. For any liquids that don't want to agree with just this, we also have this stuff called xanthan gum. This will let us slightly thicken the liquid, which makes this work a little bit better. Here's the basic idea. Using a modified soy protein and some xanthan gum, We've found we can turn just about any liquid into a whipped foam. We're gonna try it with a whole bunch of them and see what happens when we freeze dry them. So I learned all about this from a YouTube channel called Sauce Stash, where he tried making first a whipped coffee using this and then and it a few other beautifully. things. Yeah, he then went on to try Sprite and a few other things. One thing he did learn is that liquids with fats in them do not work very well with these. Uh, he tried a, an oat milk, which has some fat in it, and that didn't work until he watered it down considerably. So for the most part, we've avoided drinks and liquids that have fats in them. I think, for the most part. Does that have a little bit? So little that bit. one might be a little bit harder, or we might, might need to water it down, but we'll give it a shot. So we're going to try pretty much all of these, and we want to see what the results are just as a foam by themselves, but then we also want to take that foam and freeze dry it. That should pull out all of the moisture and I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna be left with. We should start with this one. Start with, all right, so we're gonna start <laughs> with this ginger Mostly ale. Mostly because I am obsessed with ginger ale. Guys, I will, like, if there's, if I go to a restaurant, if I'm in a store and I see a ginger ale I've never tried before, I am going to buy it and I'm going to try it. You take your liquid, pour it into a container, and okay. you're supposed to use about one to two percent by weight okay. of this VersaWhip powder. So I'm shooting for about 300 grams here. And you think we only need VersaWhip for this? You don't think we need the xanthan gum? I did one quick test, and I did get a good result, but I, <laughs> I think I actually used oh, too much. So we're gonna, we're gonna start a little low. Callie's gonna try and calibrate to exactly 300 grams. So I'm now going to add 1% by weight. That okay. should be about three grams of our Versa Whip stuff. Exactly three grams because I, I did it. You're right. Should be three grams of our Versa Whip. Oh no. What's it taste like on its own? Gelatin. Kind of smells like gelatin. It's salty gelatin. Gross. Oh no, it's, no, it's bitter. It's in my, quick, make me some. Ginger ale foam. Some, just, just. That's a really good point. All right, so to get it started, I'm going to use this beater just to get it all mixed in evenly. After that, however, we are going to use a whipped cream <laughs> canister nice. to uh, fully froth it. So here goes. Oh! I think we have enough. Keep going. Also, so the ginger ale itself, of course, bubbles. Uh -huh. But what this stuff does is it acts as a surfactant it just makes it stay bubbled. Here's what I'm wondering, is if the foam itself that we just had uh, bubble up really quick, I'm wondering if that's actually from the soda itself. So what I'm wondering is if some of that foam is actually because of the carbonation. So as we're whipping the carbonation out, is it going to be changing it at all? We've got these little containers of nitrous oxide and those get stabbed on and they fill this up with a lot of pressure and then it gets aerated as it comes out the nozzle here. Okay. <laughs> what? No! Enjoy your slime. No! No! Now it's a foamy slime. I think this needs xanthan gum. I think so. It's not stabilized well enough. I'm gonna go rinse my hand off. So now we've added the appropriate amount of the verse whip. Now we're going to add, it's supposed to be about one half of 1% by weight for the xanthan gum. So. We only need about one gram in there. That just registers it. There we go. Just give it a quick non-electric stir and then slowly with the electric stirring. Okay, so I'm pouring, it's already foam basically, mm -hmm. but we're gonna try and make it into even more foam. More foam. What? Well, there's your foam. 
It's sort of ginger ale-y. You were saying it tasted kind of like gelatin? Mm -hmm. You can definitely taste that oh, still. Oh yeah. That, I'd say, is our first foam. Uh, we've got some pineapple orange juice. This is gonna be a good test. I don't believe that acid causes any problems. Pineapple orange gelatin. That is amazing! Seems to me that if there's any juice in the world that can mask the flavor of the gelatin taste, it's gonna be grapefruit juice. Okay. Sour? Bitter, it's grapefruit juice. Okay, okay. This is our ocean blue lemonade. Blue lemonade, yep. It is definitely the most candy flavored definitely. so far. But I think we can outdo it. I think I have a more candy flavored one than that. And that's melted <laughs> popsicles, or I guess yes. never frozen popsicles. It's not melted if it's never been frozen. We're just gonna take several red ones of those and just see if we can turn it into foam. Okay. Very candy-like. Yes. We actually both <laughs> tried one of these a second ago. We opened one up and we were trying to like drink it and it is so chemically like this. Yeah. However, coming out in a foam substance is delicious. Strawberry syrup. Strawberry syrup. <laughs> Didn't work very well. Like we, we're getting double that volume with most things we've whipped. Mm -hmm. So what I want to try instead of just the straight syrup is I want to try our fat-free milk with the syrup in it. So All right. to be sure, some ingredient is not wanting to whip well. I mean, we could throw it in the, in the machine and see what we get. I don't no. think it's going to be worth it. I think it's just going to be too runny. That don't is very oh, runny. Oh, that's delicious. I'm going to I'm go going rinse to it out. try just the milk with no syrup to see if the milk will whip or not. I know a lot of people will be like, well, that's whipped cream. No, this is fat-free. Whipped cream needs a lot of fat in it, so this is a little bit different. I'm very, very, very curious. Does this just taste like milk? Mm-mm, mm-mm, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. Actually, you know what? I think if we added sugar to this, it okay. would actually be pretty similar to whipped cream. Maybe. In flavor. On its own, I taste too much gelatin and just no. I think it tastes quite a bit like whipped cream if you don't add sugar to it. Not exactly like, but quite a bit like. This is some raspberry lemonade concentrate. We have freeze-dried raspberry lemonade on its own before, and it's delicious. It foamed up all on its own in the freeze dryer. Super, super good. I really enjoyed that flavor. So by volume, it's not changing much, but we are getting Trophy. like a, a low, dense foam. I'm just gonna try pouring in the tiniest bit of water. This was Nate's, as far as I'm aware, one of Nate's favorite flavors of juices that we freeze-dried. Freeze-dried raspberry lemonade. Yep. Not even the concentrate, just the, the plain juice. So good. So this has actually made the stiffest peaked foam we've got so far, I think. That's quite good. I want to know if we can make an A1 sauce foam. Let's just try it. That didn't foam up very much, but I'm still just gonna try it. I'm gonna pour it in here and see what result we get. Oh, oh my gosh! That changed a lot. It worked! And? It's delicious. But you know. We need something to put it on. We've got ourselves a few pieces of steak. This is not the fanciest steak we've ever done. This is just some little tri-tip bits that I got at the grocery store. Nice. Could it's the kind of steak that could A1 sauce. benefit from a little bit of A1 sauce. Okay. <laughs> How fun is that? 
tastes the same. Makes yeah. me feel very fancy. Okay. I like it. I like the foamy texture with that flavor. This is phenomenal. Yes, I think the drink foam is a lot of fun, but this so far has been my favorite. I'm very excited to see what it looks like in a couple days after it's done free drying. We freeze dried all our foams. I'll be honest, even though it's only been one weekend, I've a little bit lost track of what some of these are. This one's milk. Is it? Again, the whole kind of like a gelatin, a little bit salty somehow. Interesting. Okay, okay. This one, whatever it was, didn't the, mix correctly. One of the correctly. first ones we did, it's true. I think there's just, yeah, we've got lumps of the powder. Our camera guy, Mark, remembered. That was ginger ale. We have it written down, but we wanted to see if we could identify things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it was pleasant. Grapefruit juice, which was exceedingly bitter, as grapefruit juice is. Oh, that tastes like grapefruit. <laughs> mm, concentrated. Very I'll strong. pass. I'll move straight to not, blue. Not pleasant. Our blue lemonade. It tastes like jello. Straight up just tastes like jello. Mm. Yeah, I sprayed some more. Mm -hmm. All right, and this right here should be our popsicle. Now, this one had the most flavor coming out of the whip. Not anymore. It tastes like marshmallows from Lucky Charms. <gasps> it does. So, this was our uh, frozen fruit juice, I think. That's strong. Mm hmm. That's good. Crunchy, but also chewy. Flavor is delicious. This is our A1 sauce, steak sauce. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Mm, it tastes like A1 sauce. This is very strong. It's, just, it's about as much as if you just took some A1 sauce plain and put it in your mouth. It's a very strange texture to have that flavor. It's not like a bad flavor, it's just, oh. Again, if you could make like that a, as a chip, imagine it like a five-star restaurant, like just a little doink piece on top. Has Lay's ever considered that? They had their like submit a flavor thing. Did anyone just submit A1, A1? as a flavor? Somebody please do. Guys, that is it for today, but we've always got new cool stuff coming out. Click that button there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss one of these videos, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.